You've had such a successful run. Nine season is very nine seasons is very impressive. It Why is. was now the right time to end it? I literally ran out of bullets. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, and I told them when we began this, I have a lot of cases, but not all of them lend themselves to the entertainment variety. What I have remaining after season nine are either too simple or too disgusting. Children, babies, I won't do those, and neither will I D. All right? So we're left with being at the right spot. So I called them two months ago, and I said, we're going to end it right after season nine. I don't want to be the athlete that played one season too long or the singer that remained on the stage after they lost their voice. <laughs> I want to go out at the top of my game. Yeah. People remember me fondly as opposed to, that was the worst ending I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I didn't want to do that. So I thought, well, no, this is the time to do it. So it's just time to go out and have and go out doing the best job I can do. Well, and speaking to that, and you mentioned the police officers that respond well to it, but such a large fan base. There are so many true crime shows out there. Yours has done so well. Why do you think the audience has really rallied around yours? I have no idea. <laughs> if, I, if I knew, I would start my own network and I'd only make those kind of shows. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Because we always have this huge fan base. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. It's interesting. I think it's because you do have such a high success rate and you are so determined and people can see that. I have no script. I say what I want. Mm -hmm. And it's obvious, I think, if you watch it, that I'm talking to you from my heart, not from some piece of paper. When I first did this show, we did it in Hollywood, and a guy threw this pile of paper in my lap, and I said, what's that? Well, that's your script. Did anybody tell you I'm a policeman? I'm not an actor? Well, you have to read the script. I said, no, I have to die and pay taxes, but I don't have to read the script. <laughs> I said, let me tell you something, my man. I got over playing dress up when I was five. You should have too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm furious. And man. then they knew early on who so, they were dealing with. Oh, yeah. So I said, you turn that camera on. Let me tell you about this case. You don't like what I say? We'll talk about that. And he says, all right. And he's angry. He's obviously not ready to like what I say. Talk to the camera 15 minutes. I look at my watch. I said, is that what you had in mind? Nobody said a word, and I thought, this didn't go well. So I said, let me ask you again. Is that what you had in mind? Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need that. Then there hasn't been one since. 